So the girls, <laughs> the girls decided they wanted to come out. They had their morning treats. Yesterday we came out here and we did basically our final scalp. So I'll put that on. I'll show you us doing our final scalp. But I want to talk to you real quickly about a couple things about picking up your clippings and putting down granular products during this time and why you need to be a little bit careful. This is sort of my final scalp. We've taken it down, oh, probably about as short as we can go. But one of the things you have to do when you're scalping is you need to get your clippings up. So let me show you. Uh, he, my son uh, came out here with a real mower. He did the scalp. I came with the John Deere. I vacuumed it all up. But still, I realized my mower deck is a little bit off. So I'm going to have to rerun it and pick up more because I didn't get them all. And you can see this right here. See all that? Here's the problem. These clippings will float if I get a real heavy rain and then they'll wash down this hill and I'll have these massive tiger stripes, I call them. And uh, it'll just be a mess. So I got to come out here before I get any rain and pick these up. So yesterday we did a video about um, NPK fertilizers. It's real important to understand that I don't want any granular products down right now. So we have put down our balanced, you know, a couple of weeks ago, but I don't want to put down any more granular products until I finish this whole scalp project um, because I'm going to be sucking up a lot of stuff and I'll be picking up that stuff. Well, I want to get humichar down <laughs> and I want to get it down heavy. So I want to start pounding some humichar down on this lawn. Um, so I have to come by here and finish picking up all these clippings. Now we did scalp down the fairway some, you can see it's dying off. The green, yesterday I talked about the green, it's dwarf bent and blue. It's actually in its active growing season. And I'm just kind of rushing. Now, I do things about two weeks ahead of time for you guys. So I'm actually doing this too early, so don't freak out. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you should do it. Like, I want to come out here and plant my vegetable gardens. But I know I've got a chance of late frost moving in here and then all those plants will die. So I'm like, dude, chill out, take a chill pill. Just wait, relax. So anyways, um, I'll put up some of the scalp from yesterday and then I'll level this mower deck and uh, we'll finish picking up all this stuff. But it's early, so I'm not gonna disturb the neighbors, but I need to go, I need to go level this deck. Um, when I drop it down low, the deck is not leveled right. The front of the deck should be about an eighth of an inch below the rear of the deck. And it's actually opposite right now, so I gotta level it. It's actually a little chilly out here this morning, but basically your riding mower deck should be level and the front should be about an eighth of an inch lower than the back. And that prevents a double cutting of your grass. But when I drop this down to the lowest setting, my front is actually higher. All right, so. There's a bolt right here that I need to adjust to drop that front deck down some. And unfortunately, you gotta have a deep socket to do it 15 millimeter. So this arm here is supposed to be able to drop down, but the threads on that are just like really, really tight. I'm afraid I'm going to damage something. So let's go about this a little bit differently. And then let's go back here and I can actually raise this back end up some. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. I'm going to go do it on the other side now but that's better. Uh, if you have a John Deere, just so you know, a lot of people don't know this. If you, I had to roll this out. I didn't want to start it and wake up all the neighbors. There is a disengage lever right back here that allows it to roll. So now it's engaged. But if you don't pull that little lever out, it's hard, really hard to push your John Deere pull it out and it's real easy it disengages all the gear system that's also a good little trick if you ever want to um 
prevent your mower from being stolen, you can pull that little arm out <laughs> and they can't drive it. <laughs> so that's a good little trick. If you're going vacation, you can pull that little lever out and when they put it in gear, it won't go anywhere. I think what I may also do today is I may hook up my, um, after I get done with all this, I may hook up my um, tow behind spreader and actually put out some human chart today. We're going to be doing uh, some final scalping. Ryan came over and we did a pre-scalp on this back and we've got the reason why I'm scalping is number one, I always like to put this on video early for you guys. So I may be a couple weeks early, but I've got no rain for the next six days and I've got temperatures in the high 70s. So I figured we'd go ahead and take this down pretty low just to show you guys. I just finished cutting the green and doing a video on that. The green looks nice, but we're gonna do the whole yard. We're gonna just go ahead and just scalp, scalp, scalp today. If you go on Amazon and type in gasketed sunglasses, these things actually have a gasket around it that keep the air out from around your eyes. So if you're out riding a lawnmower or if you're doing a scalp, you got a bunch of dust, these things are really good. We also wear N95 masks just because there's so much dust and crap. <clears throat> so I use my big true cut um, for the scalping because that's the abuse. I want to put the abuse on this one and then we use the McLean's for our daily, but I got to figure out how low I'm going to take this. That's about as low as that thing will cut. So, all right, so here's where I am, just so you can see that. And that's pretty darn low. That's about a quarter of an inch. And that's where I wanna be. And I've done three passes like in here. And then this is the pre-scalp. This is the final scalp. And let's see if there's a difference here. You can definitely see what what I mean there. So this is a lot shorter. Ryan finished cutting all the back. He's now scalping the front. I did grab the true cut while I was over here and I cut down the fairway. I'm getting ready to ride the John Deere. And let me tell you what, you wanna wear, you wanna wear a mask when you're doing this cause it'll just fill this whole place up with crap. So I did scalp down the fairway, looking nasty even though the green looks beautiful. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna grab the John Deere and I'm gonna vacuum up all these clippings. And I can't stress that enough that you've gotta get these clippings up. It's such a pain in the butt, but. All right, so I'm being a nice neighbor. 
It's uh, waiting till 11 o'clock. When you're doing the when you're doing this kind of scalping stuff, I'm just warning you. These are again, these are gasketed glasses. These are my non sunglasses. I lose these things. I have to order like six at a time. And uh, wear a good mask. <clears throat> you're gonna be you're gonna be cranking up a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> And uh, the air is just going to be filled with all this clipping stuff. So definitely wear a mask. So I'm going to get started. Okay, so that was maybe just three passes. <laughs> this is the second time I've done this. And you can see already what I've got up. It's crazy. This is what we have to deal with back here. <laughs> Good Lord. What a nasty mess. And this will eventually decompose down. This is where I sort of put them all the time. But man, that's a lot of crap. Oof, that's all done. Thank goodness. Oh, man. Empty your pockets out when you go inside because you'll have grass clippings everywhere. So I blew off the John Deere. I put the John Deere away. And uh, I have vacuumed the back again and the front again. Again, these clippings are my nemesis. <laughs> they just drive me crazy. But much better now. Much better. So... I really don't have a lot of clippings at all here now. Uh, join me tomorrow, because what I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'm not gonna do it today. Uh, I'm gonna hook up my tow behind spreader. I think my son might come over tomorrow. And um, I'm gonna be pounding down some humichar. And we have a few more treatments left to do on some other yards. So I might do a little more pre-emergent over there and a few other things. So that's the final scalp. Talk to you later. Die.